to the office all the time. Does Oprah, so. the real Oprah, ever listen to you? Well, buckle up, folks, because things just got spicy in Hollywood. We got Taraji, who just dropped a truth bomb on Oprah, accusing her of trying to blackball her for speaking up about getting shortchanged in the new film The Color Purple, and we got 50 Cent, who seemed to have slightly rekindled his old beef with Oprah, yet again, according to Taraji. She wasn't getting the paycheck she deserved. And when she spilled the tea on it, Oprah tried to put a muzzle on her, and 50 is feeling some type of way when. It comes to Oprah because of it too, Taraji spilled it all, even saying she contemplated ditching acting along together. Can you blame her dealing with those Hollywood big shots and their money games can drive anyone crazy? And right when the internet caught fire with these allegations, Oprah pulls a 180 posting this lovey-dovey message about their great relationship ship, but hold on Taji ain't buying it, she's calling Oprah out, saying it's all a bunch of lies to save face and avoid a color purple boy. Odd Hollywood drama at its finest, folks, stay tuned because this showdown is just getting started. And you know we'll be here with the popcorn to spill all the deets, so to Raji and Oprah. Total showdown, it all kicked off a few weeks back when Teji spilled the tea during her press tour for The Color. Purple, she straight up said she hadn't seen a raise since Proud Mary, which dropped six years ago. Talk about some serious paycheck deja vu. And get this, she even thought about slamming the door on The Color. Purple gig because Oprah's initial offer was, as Taji put it, plain disrespectful out. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over. Um, you get tired. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. The math ain't mathin'. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Big bills come with what we do. We don't do this alone. The no. fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind it's us. Bad. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top. Uncle Sam is getting 50%. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So do the math. Now we have 5 million. Your team is getting 30% or whatever your team is getting off of what you grossed. Sometimes not more. after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. Mm -hmm. But wait, there's more Taji didn't stop there. She hit up Gail King's show for another round of truth bombs in the interview Taji vented about being tired of justifying her worth to producers. But here's the kicker G who's basically Oprah's B Eve. F was all about downplaying Cage's words and making light of the situation. It's like she couldn't handle her bestie getting called out on her own show here. We go again, folks, another round of Hollywood's not-so-secret shame underpaying black actresses, and guess what? Ads. It's not a one-time thing. It's like a broken record playing on repeat Taraji's spill on being undervalued, just the tip of the iceberg. It's a sad reality check that hits harder than a Monday morning. And who's in the spotlight for this mess? Yep, you guessed it, Oprah, the queen of the industry. Rolling in billions yet here, we are talking about actresses getting short-changed. Remember Viola Davis? Yeah. The powerhouse compared to Meryl Streep. Even she had to drop truth bombs a few years back despite all her awards and acclaim, she spilled the beans on barely making ends meet. Imagine that one of the highest paid black actresses feeling short-changed. It's like a messed up game where qualifications take a back seat and the paycheck is a wild roller coaster. So here's the harsh reality check as long. As big shots like Oprah keep raking in the dough and not spreading the love, we'll keep hearing these
because the Hollywood drama just keeps on coming this time, it's Monique stepping into the ring throwing punch and not holding back, especially when it comes to the mighty Oprah picture. This Monique spills the tea back in 2009, calling out Oprah for mistreating and seriously underpaying her. The plot thickens when Monique, after starring in the movie Precious, produced by none other than Oprah and Tyler Perry and directed by Lee Daniels, decided she deserved more than a mat. Air 50k for her hard work. Can you believe it 50k for all that talent but the kicker is when they tell her to hit the road for a global press tour without any extra cash? Yeah, you heard it right Monique's not having it, she spills the beans on Oprah and Tyler pulling some serious strings. Behind the scenes, blackballing her and making her miss out on job opportunities talk about a power play Oprah and Tyler even went as far as running a whole campaign to paint Monique as a difficult one and remember Er, that time, Tyler threw shade at the director, David Tolbert. Yeah, it's like a Hollywood soap opera, but the stakes are real, and Monique's not here for the games. Say Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do, and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments, what you call, oh, I don't even deal with things like that, because what people are beginning to do is see you for who you are. Where Oprah Winfrey and I have a problem is Oprah Winfrey called us up and she said my brother wanted to come on the show and talk about him molesting me and he wanted to tell other parents how to look out for molesters. My brother Gerald is a charmer. So my mind thought was because she said, do you want to come on? I said, I don't want nothing to do with that cat. I said, nigga, I know is up to a scam. Oprah, the queen of talk shows, finally faced the music about Monique's accusations of blackballing and career sabotage. What did she have to say? Well, instead of addressing the heavy claims, she took a detour straight into the negativity lane, labeling Monique as the harbinger of doom surprisingly. Oprah is not alone on this train. The crowd, including the likes of Steve Harvey, bought into the narrative slamming Monique left and right. Steve even took a swing at her after being called out stating he caught. Odin care less about her opinions and accused her of burning too many bridges. The plot thickens when Steve, the man with the plan, invites Monique on his show. Guess what? Monique spills the tea, revealing Steve's two-faced act all supportive and private but not lifting a finger in public when it comes to battling Oprah and Tyler. I said no to Oprah Winfrey. I said no to Oprah Winfrey. Fast forward to the present Monique, the unsung hero is finally getting some recognition for her years of calling out Oprah. And who's the messenger of truth this time? None other than Teji P. Henson after Taraji spilled the beans about Oprah's treatment of black actors Monique's getting the acknowledgement she deserves. But wait, there's a twist right when Taraji's comments went viral. She throws a curveball, a picture with Oprah, from the press tour praising her as a beacon of light after Taraji spilled. Ed the T on Oprah's treatment of black actors, the drama took an unexpected turn Oprah attempts damage control by showering Taraji with praises on social media, but oh boy the savvy internet sleuths weren't having any of it people weren't buying Oprah's attempt to save face and they smelled a rat. The rumor mill went into overdrive suggesting that Oprah and her studio might have pulled some strings to coerce Taraji into this post. The skepticism reached new heights when a TikToker's video analyzing on Taraji and Oprah's body language went viral in this viral TikTok masterpiece. The analyst delves deep into the uncomfortable vibes and awkward moments between Taraji and Oprah. And here's the kicker the photo Taraji posted praising Oprah. It's a snam shot from the same video that got the TikToker. Scrutiny talk about a twist in the tale. Now call us conspiracy theorists. 
But the consensus is clear Oprah's move looks less like genuine appreciation and more like a strategic move to control the narrative. Eight of the internet detectives have spoken, and they're not falling for the smoke and mirrors in the unpredictable world of Hollywood drama. It seems like the tangled web of controversies never unravels just as Taraji P. Henson exposes Oprah Winfrey's alleged mistreatment of black actors we can't. Help but remember the past feud between 50 Cent and Oprah, while Taji spills the beans on the struggles within the IND industry 50 Cent in his bold and unapologetic style, had his own public spat with Oprah Ta. He hip-hop mogul accused Oprah of targeting black men in her discussions on sexual assault allegations highlighting a deeper divide within the entertainment realm. It's a wild ride where accusations, interviews, and social media drama collide, revealing the intricate dynamics and unresolved issues.